What is going on, y'all? Hotcheck Gamer here. Today, I'm going to be continuing our Let's Play in Wizard 101 in the world of Zephyria. Uh, last episode, we defeated one of the bosses to get a sword, and now we have to defeat the other one. Yippee! Um, so, let's get right into it. And I fill that up a little way. I really hope he's not a storm. You track Ranzan to this jungle clearing. The smell of rotting plants and meat is almost overpowering. Oh, I was waiting for him to say something, but I guess he doesn't want to. That's fine. Do that. I'll do that. Game? Okay. It's been a while since my game's done that, where it counts down still. I do like that they changed the Forest Lord, um, the looks of it, but I also like miss the old Forest Lord. That could have been bad. Although I guess it was like, it was Storm and that's the one that I have the least amount of resistance in out of the elementals, but. Alright, I think this guy has 5,000 health, which means I'm probably gonna hit after this blade. Can't remember. Yeah, so I'm probably gonna hit now. Cause this should kill. Yep, my storm resist is definitely the worst set of the three elemental. That's good to know. It's sad that like balance bosses are probably my favorite balances to fight or my favorite bosses to fight because they're just so easy to beat. Once you defeat Ranzan, you find a crude but effective looking iron blade. This must be Shango's thunder. Um, I'm pretty sure a blade can't be thunder and it definitely can't be lightning. But I literally thought this was part of the game. That was a. <laughs> I did not realize that was just a collectible thing the whole time. There are some interesting collectibles. Good job. Let the blades guide you. They will cut away whatever like. obstacles are in the path. Then return to me. So it's gonna take me to the elephant graveyard, I think. Right. No, I'm going through here. That's... I got lucky right there. Thought I was about to get pulled. What rock are we... You feel the blades pulling you this way towards the waterfall. You slot the silver sword into the rock, and you can hear stone grinding. There's a cave behind the rock. So you're telling me I had to find a secret entrance to kill a boss? I mean, that's cool, but like, they needed to add something like that to Minecraft. Like, I wish Minecraft had the ability that you could like. Like with a jukebox, for example, you can put a fucking music disc in a jukebox and it just like opens a redstone thing somewhere, but that's like the only, you can't do that. Well, I guess you can do that with item frames and stuff. I don't know. 
Anyways, I think that's kind of cool, but it's also like, what's, I don't know. I think a lot of this game is filler for a story, honestly. As opposed to actually being part of a story. But that's just my wizard hot take. Please kill. Oh, I was like, where did my fourth pip go? But then I realized that I fucking windstormed already. Or whatever it's called. And that should be game over. I do seriously, like, I think it's funny how many Chrysalis bosses are in this world, though. Considering that both Avalon, which is the next world after this one, and Azteca, which is the world after that. I'm sorry, the fuck did you just do? How did I not... How? How? Did I not kill you? I need to go back and rewatch that. Because I could have swore. Unless you had a shield that I just wasn't paying attention to. There's no way the crit block would have prevented you from dying that much. Take the Gemini for the mammoth doors, you are casted wizard. Okay. Um, well, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end today's video here, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, feel free to leave a like on the video. Sub to the channel. They definitely do both help me out. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.